Mary's Medicinals. To us, it's simply black and white. They've got this cannabis thing down to a science. Best known as the developer and exclusive distributor of the award-winning transdermal cannabis patch, Mary's Medicinals creates cannabis-based products including transdermal gels, topical compounds, and high bioavailability capsules. As part of its commitment to advancing the science around cannabis, Mary's has introduced Mary's Journal, the first mobile app designed to help patients track and balance the use of cannabis medicine. It's revolutionary. You can get your Mary's Medicinals at Evergreen Apothecary or go to marysmedicinals.com to find a dispensary near you. Mary's Journal. If you're going to take care of anybody that needs this medication or you need this medication yourself, you need to download it. It'll give you different times that you can schedule for your medication. It's a fully integrated app that tracks your results. World Viral. Do you want to experience the new phenomenon in Denver? The cannabis industry is alive and growing, and the best shot for your marijuana experience is Evergreen Apothecary. As seen on CNN, CNBC, CBS, and the Today Show, Evergreen Apothecary is slowly becoming the nation's go-to marijuana shop. Featured in the Denver Magazine 5280, Evergreen Apothecary, the corner store of the new Green Mile, features top quality marijuana available for medical and recreational purchase. Consistency is a key, and you will find it here. Available now, smokables, edibles, concentrates, and drinkables, along with the world-renowned Open Vape. Located on South Broadway in Iowa, the best shop in town is ready to educate and provide the exact marijuana product to fill your needs. Mention World Viral TV and receive an additional 10% off your entire order. Call us at 303-722-1227 or go to evergreenapothecary.com for more information. Evergreen Apothecary, the finest medical and recreational cannabis center in Denver. Evergreen Apothecary. <laughs> this place right here. Yeah, Music Buzz Live. People are starting to know the Evergreen Apothecary. I still sing sticks. it in my shower sometimes. Hell yeah, it it's a jingle. It definitely sticks, man. Yeah. It's, right? too. it's a good, good tune for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going to have to come up with a new one. Colorado Harvest Company. CHC. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Blam. Hell yeah. Problem solved right there. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> it yeah, it works. Colorado <laughs> Harvest <laughs> Company. <Yep. laughs> All right. We're here. Hour two of the show. My name is Moose. We got Chad Drew, CT. We've got Liz and John from Chain Distraction in the Yo. house. Elizabeth up, the Brutiful. Elizabeth the Brutiful. She always she's, looks at you like, fuck <laughs> you. Well, yeah. I know, I know, but... Get it know. right. It's that attitude. Well, there's another Liz that's on here, you know? Yeah. That's right, that's right. All right, <laughs> next Liz. week, I'll get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. And Chris Thomas from Omniism. Yeah, Omniism's Chris Thomas. Yeah, there, that's what it was, dude. That's I like that. Thanks, for, know, thanks for the shout, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we might have a special treat from Omniism coming up here. That's quite bit. possible. Ooh, I've been hearing I've heard a rumor. I have too. Uh, uh, I think I may have instigated the rumor. Uh, yeah, I think fact. a thicker bearded <laughs> bird came and told me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is anyway. reaching epic levels, bro. So what's going Give on in, uh, in change distraction land? Uh, um, well, a lot up? actually. We've we've actually been working on an album in our studio, trying to get it banged out so we can uh, you know start touring and promoting more and hell yeah trying to get some merchandise done yeah. too and a lot of other things so there's a lot of good things in store so we've but been yeah. taking kind of a break on playing shows or anything like that and since everybody else in the band has like other jobs it's just kind of my job to keep my face out i suppose yeah, she so i've been i've been going too. to the shows and it's one of those beautiful faces people. i mean brutal faces anyway. yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um Actually, Johnny here is the genius behind a lot of our new songs. Actually, I think all of the new ones that we've been working on, he writes them all. And I he's, mean, he's I do bad. my part. I, I try to, like, bring the life and the energy to us. And uh, it, it flows through with a lot of you just um, let's see, negativity is just created inside of me, and I just Make produce it. Pretty. it. He makes Put it pretty. It he makes yep. it pretty. It's <laughs> cathartic. Awesome. He, tie, he, he ties bows around it and makes it beautiful and desirable to the ears. I try ears. to do my best, too. And Very awesome. The rest of the guys, they're, they're in it 100%, and they follow through. And most of the songs that we have previous that are on this uh, album that we're going to be releasing next year, um, they did most of that work, and I came in. Um, they picked me up, picked Lizzie up, and uh, we just started from there, started brand new. Cool. And for the record, he just called me Lizzie. 
Yeah. He's also known me for 10 years. I've known okay. him for a long oh, so time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to get kicked in the nuts. That's, that's, a, that's a taboo with other people. <laughs> 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 had had they not been so friendly, there might have been a nice, nice <laughs> yeah, thing going yeah. down. No, um, but Elizabeth, yes, she she kicks ass at what she does. Okay. Everything she does. Thank you. And she's not bad to look at. No, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I like looking at me. Right on. I, li- I like looking at me. Mm, no. Wait, wait, there's the camera. Let's see. Yeah, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got like some skirt thing going on. <laughs> If I if I sing like a belly dance song, will you do some belly dancing? <laughs> Is that what Neptune's plays? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the the start talker game here. Oh, oh yeah, dude! I, I, we've been wanting to do this for a They've little bit. They've been sitting now. here for months, so we're gonna yes. pick a card. Woo. I'm gonna ask a question, and then I'm we're gonna right. talk. I'm actually it. kind of nervous about these, but it seems like it'll be fun. There's been some kind of crazy ones that I wouldn't want to answer in there. <laughs> like that last, <laughs> yeah. like the game that we played last week. That was pretty bad. <laughs> uh oh. Tim, Tim, Tim found that one offensive. I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a good one. Uh oh. If your partner died, what possession of theirs would you want to keep to remember them by? <laughs> Wait a sec. Huh. Uh, their <laughs> their genitals <laughs> in a mason jar, like gold. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Hook it up with a battery pack, you know. <laughs> yeah. Is that wrong? Too soon? <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be too Bing. soon because it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, right. Sure. I think that's as soon as it gets, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's a hard question, dude. Then they don't talk back. I like, hey, man, I think I got an idea. I'm going to turn into Buffalo Bill now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you do if you got pregnant? <laughs> I'd shit the bed. <laughs> That's what I'd do. I'd be I'd, like, what the fuck? I'd have my third child. Yeah. I'd like, be <laughs> like some popular pregnant dude that. <laughs> I'd be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. like Ar- Arnold Schwarzenegger in that one movie. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 That I love Junior. That movie. Junior. Is Junior. That what it's I think that's what it was called. <laughs> I never watched the damn thing. That, I didn't either, but that was Arnold when he was doing weird ass movies. Like yeah. Kindergarten <laughs> and Twins. Yeah. Yeah. Danny DeVito got to got it. Got it. He was trying to soften his image for his political office run. Right. He did good too. After he terminated. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of looking. I think I'm the only person that's actually looking forward to the new Terminator. Um, I hope it's better than the new Jurassic Park. Whoa! <laughs> I, mean, I yeah. loved it. What, oh, we talked about this we last time. I liked it. Last there there was a lot of really cool points. There to was it. some cool points. I just did not like the ending at all. Yeah, but you got to think about, about it. The governator, one. the governator, uh, turns back to Terminator. I, I'm kind of because his worried term is about ended. how the story is gonna. Wait, I, I might be that. pregnant. Is that you? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you Did you f- just Google yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Men pregnancies. So I used it. to look like that. Damn it, Smash Burger. <laughs> 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 All right, here's a good one. Would you offer to act as a sperm or egg donor for a close family member or friend? Absolutely. Yeah. Wouldn't the kid be I like? I think I would. Wouldn't the kid be messed up if you like? Yeah, it depends on this. Like, if it was his sister and you're, you know. No, not anyone in up, my Chris. family. I would do it for like a close friend. Yeah, well, like yeah. an in-law. Well, yeah. I don't like, know. Like for an egg donor, like if my sister was trying to have a kid with somebody else and she needed that to happen in yeah. the tube somewhere, I'm more than willing to do that. You I know think what I mean? it's somewhere. different. Like, but if I gave sperm that got my sister pregnant, oh. like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be a little strange. <laughs> you know, that, would be, that would be. What a fantastic image! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a jacked up moose running around, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'd only have one antler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor one antler moose. Uh, I don't. I yeah. I guess w- in the whole in the whole <coughs> test tube part of it. I Sign d- me up, dude. I'm down to dur- dude, donate some that sperm. Just, that just reminded me of that Adam like. What is his name? Um, Kutcher, Ashton Kutcher. Mm-hmm. He was in Over the Hedge as the deer guy, right? Yeah, and he's like, yeah, half yeah. doe, half buck. I'm a duck. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah. That's just what I heard. I do from remember that. That <laughs> wasn't one I of the to. betters of the what DreamWorks. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I love the squirrel that's like meth out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, are these different cards? Because last time I thought they weren't all like about your relationship. 
I thought they were all relationship ones. Just like these take, definitely take are. all of them out and then drop them and pick one up randomly. Yeah. <laughs> well, that means she just wants random. to see you play. 50 I don't want to have pickups. Yeah, yeah. If it's too hard to pick up. Wear shoes on the show. I wouldn't. Well, this one. You say that, but I heard you got some weird freaky dicky thing going on with your feet. It's not freaky dick. You have like connected toes. Oh, web. that's not freaky. Slam the web. When everything else is this good looking, something's got to be busted. <laughs> I feel you, dude. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so happy he understands my problem. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> you have, have web feet? I just have no. I just have a really bad tattoo. That's pretty much it. Let's see oh. it. <laughs> I have a pretty bad one too. If it makes you feel any better. It does actually. It really does. This one on my leg. I got this one on my shoulder. It's I don't know. Fucking retarded. I don't think I have any this regrettable tattoos, uh, honestly. Okay. <laughs> you can't really see it. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. No, it's not going to happen. I feel like I the uncool kid because I'm ink free. <laughs> I need to go get ink. Well, I've got, like, you know, not too I'll many break a tattoos. pen on you. You want me to break a pen on you? He's, like, Make showing his feet. Look at this. Ah, it is weird. He's got a knife. Uh, He's going to try oh, to Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that's, like, the worst. Uh, oh, boy. Dude. That's not... <laughs> ew. That's not totally I've, web. I've seen yeah. people that have that before. Like, oh. I used to play basketball. No, with but the, the, the weird thing like is, is that they can, like, rip it apart and it grows back. Does it? That's, that's what weird. he was just doing. Like, I don't think he really did it, did he? No, no. it was, like, super connected. There would have been blood apart. everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked like he kept on pulling them apart. You think he could swim better like that? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> what's that, what's that one weird stoner that won the Olympics? What's his name? Uh, Michael, Michael Phelps. Phelps. Yeah, do you yeah. think he has webbed feet? I, I don't know. I think he has shaved everything. That's what I think. <laughs> I actually followed him on on Facebook, and he's pretty hairy right now. Is he? Yeah, yeah. well. Well, he, he doesn't have to win the Olympics again. Yeah, he, he hasn't been worry competing because he kept getting busted for pot. <laughs> well, he so. got busted for pot, <laughs> which made me want to follow him. And then he <laughs> retired, and then he came out of retirement, and now he's, like, prepping yeah. for the next <laughs> ones, I think. Yeah. Wasn't well, he maybe in the Subway commercials? Too like because Jared, Jared from Subway just gotten like the rated by his yeah. FBI. It yeah. could it, it might not be him, but it, it was child porn. What so, yeah. for yeah. Jared or yeah. for, well, no, for one of the Jared didn't something. have the child porn, but one of his like it was one of the guys yeah. had it or something yeah. like that like, for his foundation or yeah, something. There he you has go. Like a charity, and one of the employees of the charity had and they were checking to see if he porn. did too. But then they I, I think oh. they said that they were both together in the. Uh, in the operation or whatever, so they 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 like they were paired up. So like yeah, they found a bunch of equipment in Jared's gives a new meaning to the term footlong. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Like, no. No. <laughs> no. Why did you do that to me? Just That's great. <laughs> you just fucking tied me up. Or six inch, I suppose. Oh man. <laughs> or how many inches he lost in his pants? Now he can. Yeah. You know, cold cut combo. Yeah, cold cut combo. The Italian BMT. Oh god. What does that stand for? <laughs> Are we done with the relationship cards, dude? Yeah. I was kind of starting to get wait, hold start, on. What about this one? I think that is that is that one. What the oh, hell is it's that? another book of trouble. Am I going to admit to felonies in this one? Um, uh, no. Okay. But I think we've got an, a new version of that coming in a couple weeks. Oh, nice. really? Fantastic! Yeah. I'm looking forward. It's to It's going to be a would you rather. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I like Those that. Those are fun. All right, here, pick one. Hey, did we ever figure out about that Auburn University thing? No. Do you have the phone number? I could look it so up. So Chad heard a rumor that there's a phone number you can call at Auburn University, and the operator will try to answer any question that you any ask. Any question, dude. I wanted to ask her about pot, but these guys wanted to ask her about other shit. <laughs> I don't Is know God what I real? would ask. <laughs> you know what? Here's a What good do you one. ask if you could ask one. anything? I don't know. Well, this is a good one until you guys figure that out, if you guys right. want. Since it's not too much with relationships or anything. What would you fear most if you won the lottery? Fear. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like would, we did this one. I would be did stressed we? out because you have to, like, you're supposed to, you know, change your phone number and shit so that everyone that knows you in your life isn't trying to call you asking you for Freeloaders. Yeah. No yeah, shit, yeah. right? I just know that, like, all my family that I don't talk to they just be right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Immediately. Like, Out of the hey, woodwork. Hey, how's it going? Like, yeah, totally. Hey, what's up, people who I haven't heard from during this entire time of my struggle? How you yeah. been? Suddenly you're rich and I'm your best friend. All right. <laughs> I think I'd be worried about spending it all the wrong way and having it not there in 20 years. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's 
Legit. That's a good point. You know? Instant gratification. That's the fear right there, man. Like I think I don't know. I've been kind I got of the like number. I've been thinking of a lot of different ways that I would spend my money if I came into money like that. I'm worried about them not working out. You know what I mean? Like, cause I would like I wanted to come up with this community that homeless people, like the legit homeless that just got stuck in a shitty situation, would be able to. They fill out an application of their situation. They meet with like a. a case manager or something like that tell their story say what's going on they're given a year living in this place for absolute free but they have to have a job and they have to meet up with you know counseling and stuff like that to make sure but they have a year to build up for their families or for themselves and everything like that and then they can go off somewhere you know that That's kind of sounds like section eight dude doesn't it well it's kind of like section sort of, eight except of. you can't renew right this you know what i mean and You're it given doesn't an take in- 10 years to get into i think yeah no like no there's like a ridiculous waiting line i know i was homeless for a real long time sucked and i am not homeless now and i still haven't heard back from section eight so <laughs> <laughs> do they know that you're a juggalo Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> i felt that bullet i felt that bullet yeah. they might have heard <laughs> that you were one of those um, but no, for real. I mean, like, think about it. Like, the people that have families just got left in a bad situation, a place to go, and they can, like, build up for a year. And they have, like, the backing, helps finding a job, and, you I know, think that'd be really all smart. that on I site. Mean. But the only thing is that how it would come back is I would need other investors. You know what I mean? But I've, I'm afraid of, like, people looking at the situation that I'm starting. Oh, she won the lottery. And, like, having nothing and eventually at the end of it all not being able to pay the caseworkers and not being able to actually have helped the families that were involved. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, my, that's my biggest risk. fear. That's huh. my biggest. Problem. And then after all that money is gone, they just disappear too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'd be left with nothing, and neither would the people I tried to help. So I'd, fuck that, the lottery, dude. This sounds sad. lame. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I, if I won the lottery, I would be happy that it happened to me now when I'm 31, as opposed to when I was 21 and a fucking. Idiot. No kidding. Yeah. You know, I would have blown it. I would have blown it on fucking coke and trap and like, <laughs> stupid shit when I was 21. You know. <laughs> Golden bongs. Yeah. Golden bongs. Or if you were to get it when you were 91 and you only had, like, people to leave it to. You'd be right. like, My hover round is all decked <laughs> out and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. You got the acorn stair lift plated yeah. in gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a pretty good one here, I think. Um, is sexual quality or quantity more important? Ooh. Ooh. Dun, I dun, think dun. in the learning years, quantity. Yeah. I think in the older years, quality. Yeah, I agree. Wow, we're that. wise in here. <laughs> Chad, that was really a good answer. Yeah. What do you think? It's amazing when you're 30. I think I'm with you on that. Shit. <laughs> it's the fucking Durban poison I've been smoking. I think that's, that's what it is. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go, actually. That was pretty on point. Yeah, that was, was. good. Yeah. That, was, that was the answer. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah good good way to finishing the conversational topic. <laughs> Chad <laughs> Roof, don't up deep. Yep. And if you have questions, no, I'm sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to do this one more thing before we go to break, and then we'll come back and do Hack It or Axe It. But, so Chad has this phone number for Auburn University where you can call and ask them anything. We're going to collectively come up with a question, and then we're going to call... And we're going to ask And see them. if Auburn answers. Can we, we should do that after the break so we don't have the phone number over the air. Uh, okay. Come up, with the, come up with the question. We'll take a break, right? <laughs> All right. Let's come up with Wait, the question. Um, well, pertaining to what? Any question ever? Anything, I so suppose, will be, ever. right? I mean, I don't think we should question. ask them, like, something philosophical. We should uh, ask them, like, something that they have to, like, find out. Why, is, why, is the percent, why is the percentage of knowledge that we know of the ocean decreasing instead of increasing? That's great. Hold on, I gotta think that. I <laughs> like that question. Yeah, that was a good one. Bam. Wow. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> that's actually that's literally what I'm studying on my own like little bit of free time that I have is the ocean. Mine and would have been something part. stupid like how many pores are actually on the human body? Well, that's that, that's you can never get a direct answer. <laughs> you can never get a direct answer about that. That's asking the same amount of hairs that you got. Pretty Don't much. get me into science, Johnny. You know me too well for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it'll be over pretty quick. I'll just. Right. It. Sorry. I was <laughs> thinking something like, what tastes better, Durban Poison or Sour Diesel? That's oh, okay, that was the, okay. That's a legit question. I mean, but the thing we'll is, though, is away. that that's an opinion question. I don't think they can answer yeah. Yeah, opinion see, questions. Maybe they could pull out some statistics like, you know, 95% of stoners have, have always checked out Durban Poison, but Sour Diesel is the name, and everybody likes that and the smell. So, no, you don't think they'd pull out some stats? I, I, I think I, we've done, we, I, I don't know. We've right done now. we've done scans of the earth. You know what I mean? Like we've seen all the highs and lows, and we can only assume how much lower something gets. But if we're exploring something, we should be able to be learn. We should be learning more instead of, you know what I mean? Instead of so adding for infinite bigness, there's infinite smallness. 
Well, but that's what I'm saying is like if we keep on exploring, if we keep on exploring, we've been exploring for so freaking long, we have the ability to go hundreds, we can go miles, you know what I mean? Like there's so much that we can explore, but the amount of the ocean that we know is less now than what it was a few years ago. I think we should let her just go off on whoever's in Auburn. But I can totally go worse (laughs) than that. Why is it that, why is it that the ocean is the last exploration if we know even less about our brains, about the human mind? Sounds Dude, like I can go off. Deep. I can go off into. A lot sounds of like we're gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love science. It's my thing. So what are we rolling with here? Are we rolling with the ocean question? We gotta ask the ocean question. I think the ocean questions. I think there will be big words used to <laughs> explain it. What the hell's going down? <laughs> Legit. They're gonna be like, "You want a job?" <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's come back and do it. All right, we're gonna get a break. We're gonna get this number dialed up, and then we'll come back in just a second here. Very well. Yeah. Stick around. Evergreen Apothecary. Evergreen Apothecary. Chloe. My name is Chloe. Nice to meet you.
Some very, very interesting stuff. Cannabis caviar that we call ambrosia. Taking little nugs of flour. Once we've got that in the bowl, go ahead and grab our honey oil. Just soaks up on the buds, doesn't it? Sure does. And that's one of the reasons we use smaller buds is so that it really soaks up the oil well. So once we've got that, we'll come over here to our Great selection here. Conveniently located just on Broadway. Throw on some pure AK-47 on there, Keef. Close that up. Pure AK. That's some nice looking caviar. Yes, sir. And voila, we have ambrosia. Let me, uh, let me get a close up of the ambrosia. It's for these people on YouTube. Some beautiful stuff. All right. Here at Evergreen Apothecary, come down. We have ignition and liftoff. A journey 10 years and over 3 billion miles in the making. The New Horizons mission is on a groundbreaking voyage to explore Pluto the and beyond. Is that Pluto be in a special class. Follow the progress of this piano sized Ladies spacecraft and, and relive the key events Universal that shook the world the and made history. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. Traveling close to one million miles per day, New Horizons pushes the limits of space exploration. Well, Malala Yousafzai campaigned for education for all. She was gunned down on the way home from school. <laughs> this summer, join us in witnessing a new milestone for humanity as we reveal for the first
is not even the beginning of the end, uh, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. You know the truth. Assume the imposition. Embrace free market. Here's an idea. Let's take a well-known local music editor, stick him in a room with a couple hot chicks, Evergreen Apothecary's Chad Drew, the quintessential stoner, and then we'll force him to watch some videos of an uncensored, cracked-out motel shit show from next door. <laughs> Sound awesome? I like it. Tune in to Music Buzz Live Radio Wednesdays, 6 to 8 p.m., right here on World Viral TV. World Viral. All right, all right. We're back. Are we going to do this phone call here on Music Buzz Live? Please hold, and your call will be answered when the next line becomes... Developed products on the market are a secure electronic... Yes, that's not working out. Uh Uh-oh. Are we on hold? Yeah, I just took it straight to a uh, voicemail. Oh, I thought that it said that it was on hold and we were going to have to wait, dude. Well, I can call it again. We'll have to we'll have yeah. to try to plan this out a little better for them. Yeah. yeah. Get them to be like, you need to wait. Dude. We might have to like call during the All day. All lines you know? are busy. Please hold. All the lines are busy. Will be answered yeah. when the next line so you want me to stay on hold? Mm. We just talk and someone will answer, right? <laughs> Something about a hundred million dollars. <laughs> He's trying to sell you me just won now. the lottery. Buy some cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Something about all your dreams. If you want to ask through. us about the ocean. Stay tuned and listen to about a million dollars. <laughs> All right. I think what we should do is call during the week sometime during the day, record, just wait and then record it and then play it on the show next week. Yeah, right. yeah. for That's sure. That's what we're going to have to do. That All sounds right. good. So hack it or exit time. Hashtag. Hashtag. Hashtag, yes. Thank you guys for remembering. <laughs> Usually I'm so good about that. You are awesome <laughs> at the hashtag. That was my first time. Yeah. The hashtag. Thing. And he did it so good with yeah. his pretty bracelet One, and everything. <laughs> There you go. Hey, no, That's a great your, hashtag. Your, your hash part was kind We're of We're going to have the whole world there. hashtagging. That's how <laughs> you do it. People are going to start doing it on a dance floor. middle conversations. Yeah, right? You'll be like talking like, dude, last night I was at fucking now watch me hashtag now let me hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the hashtag that, chicken strips. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe awesome. I just said that on air. Sorry. Oh, what did you say? Ooh. What did you say? See, I, I think it'll be all right. Yeah. It was a, it was like that let me whip. So I was like, now let me whip. Now let me hashtag. <laughs> nice. Oh <God>. <laughs> whip, whip, now let me hashtag. I don't know. She's I watched coming this. up with a hashtag song. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this. Uh, never mind. I won't let my nerd seep anymore. No, please we'll do. Just leave it. <laughs> there's um, you Ava- you started there's like Avatar The Last Airbender. And then there's this episode where Katara, who's a waterbender, is fighting a bloodbender and she's like controlling her body and she like goes oh, like yeah. that so then they like dubbed the scene and da- made her oh, dance geez. to that song and it was hilarious <laughs> and I've been hooked on it for days it was hilarious yeah, extra yeah, culture dude hilarious. got Nerds. juggalos we got airbenders dude you're <laughs> fucking killing it dude I cover I cover all of it man got love I, I love the does, I love the juggalo say, thing. Yeah, how, does, how does Devin say it? Live. No, still yeah, got live. <laughs> still got love with the streets. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to explain hash, uh, hashtag hack and Hashtag interaction? hack and interaction is our weekly segment where we take songs and decide if they're appropriate for our playlist. Yes. Uh, you can submit by emailing an MP3 to Chris at WorldViral.tv. Because he doesn't get enough emails anyway. Yeah. <laughs> or, or send it to, you know, and you can tweet it or Facebook it to any one of us. You know, we're, we're down to play it. We Definitely. want your music. We want to have great new music. That's what keeps us going. We want to hack it. Yep. So make sure the production quality is good. That's the main reason why we act songs. Indeed. Because yes. we're awesome. savvy around here. Tim's working on a new record. Um, work. I just finished a song you totally did so i'm excited about we that. know what we're doing around here so send us the good stuff so we can play the good stuff you guys ready yep all right Hell let's yeah. do this shit show us your twerk johnny what? show us your twerk what? stand up show us your twerk <laughs> is this one of the songs i submitted to you yeah are you gonna stand up and show the twerk it's work? Oh, I don't know. I've never twerked. Johnny will do it. No, I won't. Yeah, he will. This is all I got right here. He'll do it. 
twerking. He's twerking. That looked more like one of those Indian things that you were doing earlier. What? I thought twerking was like. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be really weird to show, but I can show a little bit if you want. I think that's. I think. Yeah. I think you have to push your ass out more. Like. It's like doing a fucking. <laughs> I only do. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to being a goth. When guys do it, your balls go back and forth. And it's really <laughs> you just fan off your asshole, man. Just fan off your asshole. I, 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 I promised cool. kids before that I would never twerk, so I can't bust that. You promised. You made a promise. I've, pro- I've made promises in the past that I would never be caught twerking. I'm so happy I was wearing this top skirt. Nobody had to see my butt. Yeah, like none of us wanted to see that. No, hell no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Got a good beat for I mean, this song. Shouting out to Denver. I like it. I actually do like it too. I've liked it so far. Where am I growing? Where am I growing? Be the kid about that low, city puffin' on that row. With a flow colder than most, we go in larger than gold. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it. I like it. We probably haven't. We probably haven't hacked it. Hot song. I actually like it. So we got yeah. some real lyrics. Yeah. No, I mean, it's not like reps in Denver. For sure. I feel a little harder <laughs> listening to it. Like, yeah, I know, right? Like, 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 I mean, I literally <laughs> just worked for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> it just happened. That's obviously you not hack a song to make for it. Tim Twerk. You have to hack I think that's a hack Tim right twerk. there. All right. Hashtag Tim Twerk. It kind of looked like, <laughs> like you were doing the worm to the air, dude. You yeah. The worm. <laughs> the breakdancing thing. Can people do that? The vertical like, worm. I was starting to do. A, I was starting to do a worm too. He did not just say the vertical worm. The vertical oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you were facing the TV. <laughs> it would have been weird if you were. Well, I had to face my ass towards the camera, yeah. right? That's how yeah. twerking works. I don't know. Now I'm kind of no curious. No one wants to watch you twerk from the front. I'm kind of curious of his facial expressions whilst he's focusing on twerking. Yeah. Whilst? <laughs> whilst? He said something about how his balls were scraping, so yeah, I think it was, it was more pleasurable than anything. I, he's like the facial expressions <laughs> was probably not very good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Chris? Did I you was, have a pleasurable I was getting twerking? a worm, dude. I was getting a worm yeah. the whole time. It's like... <laughs> 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 That's what it's called now, a worm. That's what I had when you were twerking. <laughs> Whoa! It just went from six o'clock to noon. It went <laughs> nightcrawler <laughs> real fast. Six, from six to midnight. Noon. Are you guys ready for another one? Yeah. At least you know the video reference. Thank you. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. one of my favorites. Love it. I love that movie. <laughs> Like it makes me want to take another hit. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is my shit. You know they do a scout. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. This doesn't make you want to work. <laughs> I think you should do your twerk now. This is about as twerky as I can get right here. Just twerk your work. Beavis and Butthead invented the twerk. Yeah, totally. totally. Yeah, and he can show you how he did it, but he probably won't give you shot. Well, you know. It was because Butthead and Beavis were dancing. Oh, shit. Here's Here Johnny. You go. That was legit, dude. Dance, though. That was awesome. <laughs> it's so hilarious. <laughs> if you see him and his brother next to each other, they look like straight up Beavis and Butthead. Awesome. Uh, I guess well, so, get yeah. this. His brother is also Chris Farley. <laughs> yeah, Chris Farley. That's his name. He's, uh... How funny. He's like... <laughs> I love that dude. That dude was cool. I cried the day he died. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, dude. Lots and of one, one of the first memories I have, like, of actually hanging out with his brother, he put on one of my formal coats <laughs> and was like, fat guy and little coat. And his name was Chris Farley. Uh, totally wearing my coat. Too. Is he fat? And this guy, no, no this he's guy the opposite just tall. He's, he's like he's tall he's and tall, wide really and skinny. Tall. But it was just hilarious. It cracked me up. I was dying, and I'm still kind of dying over it. I'm <laughs> laughing in my soul right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> this is. I like it. It's cool. a good yeah, We're group. hacking the It is. Out. Hell yeah, for sure. This is a band called the Duppies from Florida. I want to bring them up here and play them, put them on with the Dendrites at home. There you go. Ah. That's a pretty big compliment to be putting on a Dendrites show. Yeah. I could dig it. I could definitely dig it. All right, we're, we're being too nice, guys. Here's another one. <laughs> this is 
totally like Tim's soundtrack on a Saturday night. Right. All the songs we've been listening to. I don't know about the first one. You you'd go out rolling hard first, you know, and then you get in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do a little pork to get in the mood. <laughs> Set the vibe for the evening. Sounds kind of like the Strokes. I was gonna yeah. say it sounds very common. It, does, it sounds like the guys uh, singing through a megaphone. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty cool effect. I like that. I think it drowns out. If we're gonna hack or axe one of the songs from tonight, though. This would be my, my axe. Out of the yeah. three, this would be my axe. This would so be far. my axe. I mean, it's like it's like good energy and everything, but it sounds very like repeated. I mean, I like it. I just, out of all of them, I think this would be my axe out of the three so far. I mean, I don't hate the song. I don't hate the I don't song. know if it really fits our show, though. Really. I like it, dude. It's got a good vibe, dude. I think what about, what about awesome. the B-list, then? In between. I, should we B-list it? I think B-list. Chris likes it. It's got a nice upbeat groove, you know, like get you going a little bit. Yeah. You're Chris, you're cutting out back there, my friend. You want to do some videos? We go. Yeah, we got two yeah. videos, including the return of Reggae Shark. Reggae Shark. Uh, Reggae Shark. I'm going to have part of that in Reggae my drink tonight, and I'm going to wake up like, like I had a nightmare. When I posted that video no. of Reggae Shark, they, yeah. found it, they found it literally like the next week. Okay. Yeah, and that's they put right. It on air. This we, we aired, we've aired the first two, and tonight we're airing the third. <gasps> Jim has been the new the one? There's a new reggae show. It's the new one. Uh, I'm so excited. Gotta check it out. I, could, I, I would only hope that it would get even better. Well, I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I only watched, like, as soon as I learned that there was a new one, I was like, yeah, we're watching that tonight. Uh, we gotta watch I'm kind of sad that there's no contributions to the sushi playlist. We haven't done that in a while. None of these yeah. were sushi playable, though. No. Like, I wouldn't want to roll hard, like, twerking to sushi. I wouldn't but, wanna Dude, if there was a naked model for the sushi well, then any music applies. Exactly. Any. It I mean that's matter. what I'm saying. That's what the sushi playlist was. What, naked models? What? Naked <laughs> models is all I heard too. Yeah, dude. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, Never mind. I'm in the mood for some sushi. I'm in a lot more of a mood. You guys like ready for a video? Now. Yeah. Alright, here comes reggae shark motherfuckers. Uh uh oh. Uh oh, it continues. Yeah. It continues. Come on, everybody, gather round. Gonna tell you all an epic story now. Up the Reggae Sharknado. Reggae Sharknado? Oh, God. Up the Reggae Sharknado. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fun combo. I bet you didn't know that sharks could fly. I bet you didn't know they swam that high. It's the Reggae Sharknado. Reggae Sharknado? Yes, the Reggae Sharknado. Which part don't you understand? It started when Reggae <laughs> Shark <laughs> went to Washington, D.C. <laughs> The speak on conservation of the sharks and manatee. <laughs> Congress applauded, <laughs> said we'll get on him, and everything seemed cool. Everything. Obama everything. even let him swim in the reflecting pool. <laughs> get on there with him. We'll do a couple laps. Inside the <laughs> of the something started brewing in the atmosphere. It was a giant shark needle. <laughs> Yep, they made another shark needle. Yeah, they did. People started killing sharks off left and right, and they always had creative taglines like, Looks like you're finished, bro. Get it? Finished. That's also my name. Whatever. Finn was <laughs> shark assassin. Doesn't he kind of look like Red Finn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he tried to jump Definitely inside like Reggae Shark with his chainsaw. Reggae Shark said, Let's join horses. He was a big fan of your work, the 90210. Tell me I've got a The president said, We don't know what to do. <laughs> shark, we're counting on you. And looked up the Washington <laughs> Monument and said, We can turn it into a giant split. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> that will all be unruh. And from what we know of George, him would approve. Then Obama in shark to join chiefs of staff. Reggae Shark is a master of the arts and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> Stoners build the monument with weed. And then the Air Force marked it up with an F-15. All of the smoke from all of the dope went up the Sharknado spout. <laughs> and the 
shark stop killing and just start <laughs> chilling now. <laughs> It's roaming around like a party cruise Making people change their point of view It's the rig of Sharknado <laughs> They even chilled out the Migos God Now it's time dude. to take the sharks back where they're from But they're too from. high to give us direction This is the uh, Colorado Totally. Who wants to order taco? Me. 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 Me too. Me. And a pizza. Can we get anchovies on it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mom, Jesus. thanks for watching that Kia Boss from number 100. Oh, uh, no, actually, this is uh, 99.5. We didn't want this to be the 100th Kia Boss because it's a little why off. Didn't, why are you putting it out now? Because I needed it to coincide with Sharknado 3. This was promotional? Yes. You put me in a dangerous situation for a promotional video? Me gone now. Come on. Whatever. Hey, guys, if you want to buy a cool <laughs> reggae shark t-shirt like the one I'm wearing right now, just click in the link in the description below. Hey, how many things you going to send me in your face on it? No shit. Just I, just, like, <laughs> I just told him it didn't Come have to on. say anything. That has to happen. Watch Sharknado 3 on the Sci-Fi Channel, July 22nd. Ah! And stay tuned for Kiyomasa. It's on the Sci-Fi Channel. That was pretty funny. Have you guys ever seen Sharknado? I, no. Dude, I sat through like 10 minutes of Sharknado. And yeah, I dude, like, I could I, not. No, I seriously couldn't. Like, it really was a shark. I was going to that so, had sharks in it. I, it's, some, it's basically just like a, yeah, it's like a bunch of fucking sharks that just kind of yeah. come out of nowhere. Didn't we watch That sounds like, the awful. first 10 minutes? And Ian Ziering like, no, from even, fucking Beverly Hills 90210 was in it. Ian Ziering. We Do you remember even, that ass show? Yeah. That old 80s dude's fucking... No, we didn't. We didn't I don't even know, make 10 I, minutes on that. The production quality's horrible. The store, store's horrible. The acting's horrible. But, I mean, it's got that audience to it, dude, you know? It's got that audience. It has, like, yeah. a small little cult following I think sort it's, of thing. I think it's kind of, like, comedic. Yeah. When I was yeah, watching it's it, was, be. It's it seemed be. like... No, it like, has to be, like, for real. I could it's, not... It just seemed like they were trying to be serious with it, but yeah. it's just too funny to... Yeah. They, and they do all the things that, that Reggae Shark just said. They have the shitty one-liners and all of that. So, <laughs> I don't know. It. I'm a film student. I didn't really dig it. It was hard. I, are you saying this is shitty or what? You're no, saying, not oh, Reggae no, no, Shark. No, 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 we're talking Reggae about the actual Sharknado movie. Yeah. Everybody needs to know that Reggae Shark like, is the shit. Yeah. Dude, Reggae I like Reggae Shark. Shark. I think I want to get some of them shirts. I do too. Someone if anybody wants link. to come on this show and they talk shit on Reggae Shark, we're kicking them off. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So, that uh, one was better. I think that bring, one was better than the other. Let's others, bring so. Patrick, our freaking drummer, just oh, for dude. shits, because he talks shit about <laughs> everything. He doesn't <laughs> actually have to hate it. He's a vulgar person, but it's like in a nice way, you know. Like it, I, don't, I don't know how to explain. He's the so biggest. He'd be able to talk shit about reggae shark and and get kicked off the show. And get kicked yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, Sorry. No, For the record, we love you, Pat. For the record, we yeah. love you, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up with this other video? So let's watch. We got another video. Let's watch it. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay then. Coffee <laughs> or tea. Chris is already a fan because okay. it has a chicken in it. I can't choose. Ooh, and she's the driver. I like her arms. <laughs> Look at them taillights. Damn, those <laughs> tires. I like her shoes, too. <laughs> They're a little scuffed up. That actually means I like her. For real. Is it possible to get it up louder? There's more bass in there, isn't there? Well, now I'm boned. <laughs> that that went from like awesome to shit really fast. What are you talking about? This is great. I'm proud of you for fulfilling a dream. Is that like a little tiny cowboy hat on her necklace? I don't know. I like her. No, that that went from that? dude. It's supposed to be English in the same flat line. Doesn't doesn't Dwayne Booker at Herman's? It's pretty brutal. <laughs> That went that went yeah. from that yeah, went from A list to Z list. And what do you think the production cost was for this one? This well, is like ninety percent of my Facebook nice friends. That's a coffee right there, so that'd have been at least a few dollars. I can hear seven laps of her same flat note, and it's bugging me. Is that a giant bolo tile? Do you want to twerk to this? Go on, she Johnny. She looks like she's about to start twerking. Are we gonna do? Look at her. She is, she's doing that like and or she's just course. constipated in public, all right? <laughs> Nobody judge her. Look at all them bodegas around. She's just getting some help. Bidet. I'm glad she had a chance to make like a dating site sort of video for the people that are on like. For real. It seriously, it seriously went from like awesome to crap. 
and I don't like her. I like her. I mean, she can't even, like, I can sing better than that. <laughs> yeah, but you're not that hot. I'm trying just a little bit harder. Chris, did you lose a bet to have to play this video tonight? <laughs> Wait, come drink well, your the tea. Song is no, called coffee or tea. Well, she just said, "Come drink your tea or be with me." Come drink your tea or be. With I'm gonna you. stick with my tea. It's so pretty innovative. This, this kind of seems like a, like a one of those rich ladies that has a because she has like a really rich husband out in like Scottsdale, and she's like, "Honey, you know what I want to do? I want to make a music video. <laughs> yeah, I do have the money, so let me do this yeah. for sure. Come on, <laughs> for sure. Like, just come on, man. That's seeming like exactly what happened. I think that's totally what happened. Yeah, this wasn't actually supposed to be made public. This was supposed to be between her and her husband. Where the fuck did you find this, Tim? <laughs> I went way above her. Oh, I mean, gosh. I have my sources. Okay. Yeah. She keeps switching necklaces, dude. Like, there was a lot of takes here. But she's not changing the shoulder motion. <laughs> I got a necklace for her. Yeah, you do. Yeah, Chris, Chris will give her a pearl necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Chris probably mutes this. I think, I think we all would. I'm saving this one for the spank bank, y'all. <laughs> Just start blinking really fast. Take the pictures. Next time Chris leaves his computer open in the office, I'm sharing this on his Facebook. <laughs> Why are we finishing the song? Are we going to finish the song? Oh my god, he's going. He's breaking out the pearl necklace. He's enjoying it. Let the man enjoy the old lady. Nope, nope. I mean, like, she does do, like she electronic music yeah, with, the same with standing. This might be the worst song that I've ever heard in my entire life. Someone's like, literally, it's, it. this might be the worst song yeah, you of all it. time. You gotta mix it, dude. <laughs> you are totally that was honest. priceless. Look, she's got Texas license plates. Dude, that's awesome. see, that's why I moved out of Texas. That's why I moved out of Texas, yeah. They man. live in Dallas, for yeah, sure. They definitely that was fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about Chris, her. Chris Don't hacks get that. On my Chris is back hacking there. that video. Got hacked. Totally I hack. think I think it's four to one. Gonna hack the shit out. Yeah, four to one. I'm gonna hack the shit out of can my you, fucking can you self hack later. It, can you please hack it behind closed doors? Can that go I on? will. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hack it in that window. <laughs> can that go on the sushi playlist? Oh yeah, yeah, it's on the sushi playlist. All right. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I think I'd lose my appetite. <laughs> If I, was, if, I was, juicy, if I was eating anything that had to do with fish, it would not involve her. No? Like. Yeah. 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 Me too. Yeah, you're right. I'd have to be really Looking at her makes me drunk. think of fish. Yeah. Would you kick her head away? No, I, I think, I think <laughs> the back of her head is the only thing I would keep. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Donkey punch. <laughs> Catch. Awesome. All right. Well, that's been tonight's episode yeah, yeah, of Music beautiful. Buzz Live. Thank you so much for uh, for for sticking around through all that. Hell yeah! Um, thank you, Key of Awesome, for the Reggae Shark video. <laughs> keep those coming; they're awesome, for sure. Also, keep an eye on Chain Distraction. We have a lot of good news coming up. This is Elizabeth and Johnny from Chain Distraction. Find us on Facebook. All that yada bullshit. And make sure you go that's by right. Evergreen Apothecary, the brand new, soon to be Colorado Harvest Companies, dude. We got two more locations showing up in the next month, probably. So. Dude, that's so cool. Awesome. Pretty exciting, dude. That's so make awesome. sure that you roll by. And Definitely. I'm almost off probation. And speaking of yes. plugs as well, doesn't Chris have something to tell yeah, us? Yeah, I think we're going to leave you with the promo for uh, Omniism's Chris Thomas's new Omniism yeah. song. That would be yeah. awesome. Where's the audience? Omniism's going? Chris Thomas's Omniism's promo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Music Buzz Live, powered by Evergreen Apothecary and Marriage Medicinals. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Peace. Wicked awesome. Hey, yo. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You got something to say? You got something to say? Yeah, we're, hey, we're Omniism. We're playing this Saturday at Summit Music Hall. Uh, what time are we playing? I don't fucking know. You know? What, how am I going to know that, man? I thought you were the booking agent. You're the guy who says No, man. Aren't you we don't know what time we're playing, so show up early, right? Yeah. Science. I think it's like 8 or something like that. Space. Y'all come back now. You hear? You heard? We're going to play at the Summit Music Hall. Why are you hiding back there, Brian? That's good. Get your, get your, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and cut.
Do you want to experience the new phenomenon in Denver? The cannabis industry is alive and growing, and the best shop for your marijuana experience is Evergreen Apothecary. As seen on CNN, CNBC, CBS, and the Today Show, Evergreen Apothecary is slowly becoming the nation's go-to marijuana shop. Featured in the Denver Magazine 5280, Evergreen Apothecary, the corner store of the new Green Mile, features top quality marijuana available for medical and recreational purchase. Consistency is a key, and you will find it here. Available now, smokables, edibles, concentrates, and drinkables, along with the world-renowned Open Vape. Located on South Broadway in Iowa, the best shop in town is ready to educate and provide the exact marijuana product to fill your needs. Mention World Viral TV and receive an additional 10% off your entire order. Call us at 303-722-1227 or go to evergreenapothecary.com for more information. Evergreen Apothecary, the finest medical and recreational cannabis center in Denver. Evergreen Apothecary.